everybody, how are you doing? Today is one of two videos, and the videos are about building my perfect camper van. Not yours, but my perfect camper van. I've had some form of camper van now for getting on for nearly 40 years. I know I don't look as that old. But I've been working on trying to create the perfect setup for me, how it would work best for me. And as you've seen in our previous video, I had the complete insides redone by All Things Timber, Eddie and Joe have made a fantastic job, bespoke to exactly how I want it and we're really pleased with that. And as part of that we had Victron electronics fitted, but the missing part of that was I still had the old fashioned AGM lead batteries in the back. And uh, today we go down to Oak Tree Motorhomes to re meet a guy called Rob Matthews, a director there. It's a family run firm and they spe specialise in lithium batteries. So we have a look at how they fit my lithium batteries, how they set up on the Victron systems and all the benefits of lithium against the old fashioned lead acid or AGM batteries. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. You got enough room in there, Matt? I think so. <laughs> yep. So these are the batteries that I have in at the moment. So 12 volts at 260 amp hours and there's two of them. So the thing with, this is Rob. Hi. And um, the, the, the main thing around this is about uh, the capacity of lead acid or AGM batteries yep. compared to the lithium batteries. Yep. So although I've got 260 amp hours in each battery, yep. we only use about 50% of that capacity. Technically from you they state you can have use 50%, but in reality to maintain over 12 volts or run anything that's putting any kind of load on it, you wouldn't be as much as that, You're probably more like 40%. So you've probably got about a combined capacity of the two batteries of 200 amp hours in total. Yep. So 200 amp hours out of that and the the size and the weight of them and we'll weigh them in a minute we'll look at the difference between the yeah. two batteries in a minute but the lithium that's going in yep. is what's the size of that 320 amp hours that's 320 amp hours and at the push if you had to obviously you could use the full 300 amp hours ideally you wouldn't use that much but you will find that it will regenerate quicker from your solar because yep. it's 30 percent more efficient at uh, taking a charge from your solar so you'll find that they'll come back up a lot quicker uh because they can take a longer bulk charge so on a, You've got a big solar array, haven't you? How many watts of solar? I think there's uh, 320. Okay, so on a on a hot day or, or a bright day when the sun's out, you know, lead won't take a bulk charge for that long. So you can ca capture all that with the lithium because it will take a lot more bulk charge. Technically, you can charge them at 100 amp hours if, if you need to. Wow. Um, so you know, you should notice a big difference with that alone. And Matt's going to break his back here lifting this That's out. We better give him a hand. It is heavy, isn't it? Very. So I'll put this together. That is heavy battery. That is heavy. It's Fair. just ridiculous, isn't it? So here we go. So what does 70 that kilos? 70 kilos. So that's 140 kg. kgs wow. in two batteries. So it's uh, two people in weight. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. Okay, let's put this one on then. So this is the lithium battery, and that weighs 27. <laughs> Just more than a whippet. Yeah, 27. <laughs> so wow. Crazy way, that it? is ridiculous, Brilliant. absolutely ridiculous, and it's the same physical size so as one of those batteries. Pounds. So we're saving 113 kilograms between that one battery and those two, and this will produce twice as much power, ish. Well, it, yeah, as each single battery. As each yeah, single yeah, battery. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. So size-wise, it's the same length. It's about an inch or so, inch and a half, two inches narrower as well. So twice as much power as one of them. Was it a third of the weight of one of them? Yeah. We'll say half. Less, less than half the weight of one of them. Twice the power of the AGMs and the smaller box as well. 
and significantly more power that you can use at 12 volts. And there it is in place. Lovely neat job. We was just saying because these are so much smaller and I only need one of them, we could actually move this battery across and we could have a storage cupboard there or just box that one battery and have some additional space in the back if need be. So I'll have to have a think about this and contact Eddie and say what can we do with this space? So the complicated bit now, setting up all the Victron stuff for the new battery. So low temperature cut off zero, absorption voltage 14.6, float voltage 13.6. I'm so pleased you're doing this. Hmm. So that's that. It's all it's trying to update it. So it's, still, it's, already, it's already ready to run in the latest software. That's it though. All ready to go. It's all set. Brilliant. Done. Yep, all ready to that go. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Rob Matthews and you're a director here at uh, Oak Tree Motorhomes. I have to keep looking at that because I keep thinking of the name of the batteries and it keeps confusing me. Yeah. The Eco Tree batteries. Yes. Just tell us a bit about what you do here at Oak Tree. Uh, well, we're a family business. Been going 24 years now. Um, basically dealing uh, mainly used motorhomes. Blowing our own trumpet, we've got the highest rating on Trust Pilot in the UK, customer service, and hopefully that comes across for the battery range that we're doing and, and what we're looking to do, yeah. um, which we got into due to having issues. That was the interest, you know, fat batteries and power related problems. It is a big issue for camper vans, motorhomes and boats and yeah. various other things that yeah, rely on yeah. power, mobile power. It's a yeah. major thing, isn't it? Yeah. And I think we're all in that transition period now of understanding how old fashioned the old lead acid or the AGM batteries are and how much you can use compared to the lithium and how yeah. the technology's developed so much as part of that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's all our devices, our phones, our laptops, power tools. I'll, I'll cut in now to a clip of us wearing the batteries where I nearly broke my back. Yeah. Jeff Capes, eat your heart out. <laughs> That's about the size of Louis. And that. Watch your back. Absolutely and they're all stood laughing at me, look. So the difference in weight between those batteries, so those, those AGM batteries I've got, if I'm removing those two AGM batteries, I think we worked out was we saved 113 kilograms. Yeah, it was, it was 70 kilos each, so yep. 140. Yeah. Less 27. <laughs> yeah, and I think it worked out as 2.6 times lighter. And then everybody in the workshop had to go up picking one up as well, didn't Yeah, there's some big lads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they struggled. Yeah, yeah. But it's not just about the, the weight saving in those batteries. The people need to understand the capacity and what you can actually use in the old fashioned lead acid or AGM batteries, which are basically the same batteries, aren't they? They have lead panels in, yep. there's a chemical between them, yep. an acid that allows the electrons to move around. Yeah. And the AGM, sorry, the AGM and the lead acid are the same type of technology. Yes. But the, the lithium is completely a different technology and you can use only a percentage of the lead acid or AGM batteries without before you start to destroy them. Yes. If you take a lead battery down below 11.8 volts, 11.9, you know, um, you're going to do permanent damage where each time it will degrade a little bit and never each time after thereafter work quite as well as it did before. Um, they also lead can just self discharge if you just leave it for two or three weeks you can see a noticeable uh, drop in the, the, the available power in the battery. Um, lithium doesn't self discharge in that same rate, maybe 2% a month just to keep the BMS alive in the, in, yeah, the brain of it, yeah. um, which is the sort of mini computer and safety device in the top. Um, funny enough, people don't realise that that is there to protect the battery and, and your equipment, which is actually safer than lead. Yeah. Um, so, so an indication of that is you can literally drop a spanner, a piece of metal across the terminals of, an, of a uh, lithium battery and it switches itself. You can't ask because it's got the built-in BMS yeah. and that will switch it off like a trip switch in your house yeah. and then reset maybe five seconds later. And if you do that with a standard lead acid or AGM battery... That's yeah. rolled in. <laughs> you get yeah, lots of yeah, spanners yeah, and yeah. a hot spanner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, there's a safety element built into that as well which is, is useful. 100%. But also the charging rates as well. So 
as people will probably know, I had my van completely redone. I had all the Victron stuff put into that. Yeah. But having those Victron um, units in there, the, the MPPT, the mains charger, and the um, battery to battery charger, yeah. that enables lots of power to be transmitted through to lithium batteries. Yes. And lithiums can accept a lot of power over a short period of time, can't they? Yeah, 100%. They're more sponge like. You know, there's no resistance, and they can take a really big, long bulk charge. So that's how you ca captivate on that sunshine when it comes out or your DC to DC when it's running and giving out 30 odd amps, plus your solar. So technically you could have 40 odd plus amps coming into your battery, whereas the lead wouldn't allow that for very long yeah. because you would damage the battery. Yeah. And that goes on to float charge and trickle charge, trickle charge and bulk yeah, and yeah. switching between the two. I think everybody knows the old trickle charge, you know, sort of 18 <laughs> hours to, yeah. so you don't damage it, which is to keep them nice. They take yeah. a lot, lot of looking after lead does really. Yeah. Um, so we've we've saved the the weight capacity, and I yeah. tried to do some calculations, and I think you've got some information that you're going to send through to me, which I'll include in this. Yeah. Um, but the the calcul the only thing I could find on the internet, and the easiest way to work it out, was that if you take an extra person in a car yes. over four hundred miles, yes. it cost you about an extra five pound in fuel. Well, wow, I didn't even know that. So yeah. I, that's the way I could Google it. Yeah, so yeah. my removing my two big batteries down to one. Yes. It's like one and a half or two people I've removed out of that. So the fuel consumption I've saved by yes. that weight side is, is considerable over a period of time. So there's a money saving value there. One AGM battery compared to the lithium battery, I get almost twice as much power, yes. usable power, yes. out of the lithium than I would out the um, AGM battery. But not only that, also for longer, because yes. the lead degrades quicker and lithium right. will do that. Guaranteed for six will last you ten. Yeah. So um, the other thing about that as well, which we was talking about earlier on, which is really interesting, is lead acid lowers the voltage as it loses its power. It yes. gradually goes down. There's a, there's a curve as it drops yes, down. Yes, so straight away it stops curving. You start yeah. at 12 or 13 volts, possibly. 12, 8, 13 yeah. volts, yeah. And then it gradually goes down. And then things start to switch off. Yes. And then you start to lose power. And you still have some power in your battery to do low level stuff, but yes. you won't have the 12 plus volts that you need. No. And if you get below that, as we've said, it damages the battery. Yeah. But lithium stays constant. Pretty much, it's a really slow, it's virtually straight, and then at the last minute it tapers right off at the very last minute. But bear in mind as well, you've got the pukit effect where if you put a higher load on lead, that curve really drops, drops quick. quick. Yeah. So, you know, TVs and things like that always turn off quicker than your lights. Your lights will stay on a lot longer, uh, but something with a higher voltage requirement will turn off, and usually it's something that's important or you need. Um, so technically you've got a battery that's over half full, but you can't use the power because it won't, won't drive anything. And the, the, the other difference is that uh, with those batteries I have in my van, they come with a four year guarantee. Right. There's a six year warranty with these yep. batteries, isn't there? Six years. So you get an extra two years warranty on top of a standard yep. battery warranty. And the cost, the cost difference, they're, they're probably mm. twice as much, would you say? Yes, I, I'd say they're twice as much. Um, and what we always try to, hopefully point out to people is that there's cost and there's value yeah there is very separate line between the two so I've got one battery that did the job of two batteries yeah it'll do it better with more power I can charge it quicker it's lighter and I save money on fuel because it, it doesn't weigh as much yeah yeah so if you do those calculations over a period of time yeah lithium is becoming really valuable now isn't it over, if you just did it over five years yeah you know it probably lasts you ten you're guaranteed for six minimum and, and the way you're going to use it um, it will last a lot longer you know we've got them on ambulances on, on commercial chiller bands that are being really used hard commercially uh, and they're not missing a beat. So, I mean, the way it's going to be used in a motorhome, you're going to get a lot longer. And also, it's the yeah. the non hassle of having been let down and running out, you're going to get more out of your solar. Yeah. I mean, all your enjoyment depends on you having power available yeah. to run anything. Yeah. So, what is that value worth to you? You know, exactly. people spend 30, 40, 50,000 yeah. on a motorhome. And during our camper van, she'll leave everything switched on. Yeah. She'll have the heater on full and she'll leave everything switched yeah. on. She just thinks it's it just power comes from nowhere. So yeah. we can do that now because everything well, in my van's 12 volts. It will just run. Yeah. And the, the, the capacity to charge it with all the things I've got in my van, including the power hooks I can use as yes. base chargers as well. I'll have no power issues with my van whatsoever because everything's off 12 volt. I don't have an inverter. So, no. so Rob, if people want to get in touch with you, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Yeah, I mean, 
we supply directly from the, the website ecotree uh, website and i'll put the link below yeah yeah uh, and order there the drop ship you know order whatever you like happy to call us here i can give you some advice we've fitted out hundreds of vans you know happy to point people you know with what maybe they need is their charger compatible things like that which um, I think is a brilliant service because electrics, gas electrics, start to get really complicated yeah. for people. People seem to be frightened of electrics. So to be able to come and say, I'm building this van or I have this motorhome and yeah. it's not meeting my capacity electronically wise. Yeah. What can I fit in? What's the cost? How is yes. it set up? And your guys that we've seen today are absolutely brilliant. They yeah, love the van. Yeah. I could have sold the van about five times today. Yeah. They, they'll come, they'll fit it all up, they'll set it all up. And I mean, we are limited with how we can fit because obviously with the pandemic, with the normal motor side of the business, yeah. we are really busy and then trying to do supply and fit the lifting, which we, we can do. We're sort of limited to how many per week we can do fit outs mm -hmm. uh, but i've got other places around the country who supply and fit our batteries oh, excellent. so there's other people depending where they are in the country yeah. we've got alex down at amc motorhomes in uh, hailsham sussex we've got phil up at rhino installs uh, there's another guy um stevie at murfield uh, electrical there's a few people so if anyone's oh that's excellent we can so point you have to go to to be hood. no no be at Ryan and, and if you order the the batteries on the website, they get delivered, you know, um, it's all for free delivery. And again, we're happy to maybe give them some advice. I had a guy last night who's building his own camper van, I had a long, nice long chat with him. Uh, we try and simplify. We're not here to sell loads of gadgets and stuff, uh, and we'll hope to take some of the myth that you read about on forums and because we've actually done it yeah yeah um and hopefully it's free advice we're happy to help if we can and then um, you know from an outsider coming in so first that we've had a few email conversations yeah. and i know you've, you've met a few other youtubers and that yeah but for an outsider coming in what a a, a welcoming place to come that, everybody's relaxed that, it's yeah, all yeah. jokey it's all light-hearted yeah. but a professional setup the yeah. guys you've got working for you are really good yeah. and the, a number of them work for you for a long time haven't yeah they? yeah seriously long time yeah yeah 10 12 years a than longer um, um, and matt likes to be in front of the camera yeah he likes that yeah, <laughs> he, he gets all the the, the camera jobs lately he's um, bringing a calendar out later on this year <laughs> uh, yeah 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 <laughs> a lot of people had shy away uh, from, from the camera work but um no, they're good lads and again, we use a lot of the Victron gear, we think that really works well. Yeah. And, and also if the battery is, you know, you never run a battery that low or anything turned off, the Victron stuff will read the battery because sometimes if a battery turns off, it can perceive that there's actually nothing connected. Yeah. It's not the most intelligent charger. Mm -hmm. So we do we do really rate the Victron, you know, MPPTs, chargers. And it's a proven technology. It, used to, it was used in the boat industry, wasn't yeah, it? it's really great. Really it's been through all those tests and the conditions it goes through. So now coming into the camper van and motor yeah. side of stuff, the Victron stuff, you can't really beat it. And with a smart app, if you ever got an issue, I've got a guy in Spain who sent me a snapshot of his solars, what it was doing, because he had an issue. So we could look at it, give him a call, and we talked him through and he did all the settings on the phone while I was on to him. Perfect. We reset the, the profiles. Um, no other product really does that. Yeah. Uh, and then the ambulances that we supply, they, they use that they use Victron equipment in the NHS ambulances. So that's a great of how good it is yeah. if it's in ambulances. Yeah. So um, if the emergency services are using it. Yeah, perfect. yeah. So. Well thanks again Rob. It's yeah. been a brilliant day. Great meeting yeah, you all. Yeah. Thanks for sorting my van out. I'm well onto the way now. It's almost completely finished. Yeah. My yeah. perfect camper van after nearly 40 years of yeah. various configurations. I've nearly got my oh, perfect yeah. camper van. Just yeah, need to get out and use it now. Cracking lucky van, and I'm really keen to see what more you get out of it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'll, I'll keep you updated. Yeah, do update me. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Take care. Nice work, Matt. Is there anything I need to know? All back to normal now? All back together. All the boards on. Your battery's yeah. all in. It's all set up. So you're ready to go in. You uh, would never know, would you? No. Apart from it's probably about two inches higher at the back. Yeah. <laughs> on the springs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Saves yourself in a lot of weight. So. Uh, yeah, looks tidy, looks neat. Really appreciate that. Brilliant no job. Didn't take long really, did it? No, not at all. Swap a battery over, screw yeah. the board back on, and some programming on the phone. Less weight, more power, happy weekends. Perfect. Awesome. Brilliant, thanks again. Not a problem at all, thank you.